Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another review on the channel. We are back on the grind and today, yes boys, today we have a SBC to check out uh, and it is Todibo's SBC. So we are now right now, well right now we're trying to get the last little link here in the team and you guys know how I am with SBCs. I'm probably the worst, I'm probably the worst person to do SBCs in the history of somebody doing SBCs. But yeah, I mean, this card looks pretty decent. I think this is a card um, that can offer you, you know, a nice center back position in the League One. Um, other than that, I'm, you know, I'm not all too sure outside of that. It's got to be a French or a League One team, guys, that you're gunning for with this guy. Because um, other than that, you know, I don't, I don't know how crazy he is. But we're going to submit our 85 squad here, guys. Um, we're going to get this locked and loaded. And we're going to complete him. So right now, he's 200k if you don't have untradeables. 200k is what it is. And this is going to be an, you know, a, a good review today to really see how this guy plays as a proper center back. I've used so many center backs in this game this year. And what we also have to consider, guys, is that there is a real meta this year with using fullbacks and center back. I'm, I've got a 3-5-2 going on my main account right now where I'm using Diogo Dallo. And his left back card at center back is really, really good. So, you know, we'll have to go ahead and see, guys, how this dude is. So, when we take a look at this card... Uh, he's got four star skills, which he's got a little bit of an upgrade on. Um, he's medium high, six foot three, 80 pace, 87 defending, 84 physical, and 80 dribbling with 76 passing. Uh, he's got 78 acceleration with 81 sprint speed. He's also got a nice little 80 agility with 77 balance, 86 reactions, 85 ball control. So, should be a very responsive center back on the ball and should be able to distribute out pretty nicely with the 87 short passing, guys. Um, defensively, Interceptions are really high. Defensive awareness is really high, right? That That's good to have. Goes close, close to 90. Stand tackling is good. Jumping is good. Strength is good. And aggression is good. So all these are good. He doesn't really have any crazy traits, right? No crazy traits on this card. So what we're going to do today, hop into our foot champs team, guys. We've got a, uh, I think we went 4-2-0 and two and oh yesterday. We were trying out um, Curtis Jones' left mid card. So this is our little prem team that we had yesterday. And guys, we on the channel also right now, we have crazy reviews up. We've already, I've went through and grinded, guys, uh, the whole entire uh, Rain on EA player. So if you guys want to check that out, it is on the channel. Um, and we've already done both versions of Curtis Jones. So those are big Those are big players that have been released. And if interested, guys, check them out. I'm not even going to link it. They're just on the channel. Uh, so check them out. So I'm going to kind of put together a French team. I think we have an Mbappe that we have up top, or at least should be. Is he on our bench? Yeah, so he is on our bench. So we're going to put up Mbappe up top, guys. And I just completely pfft, messed that up. But uh, we're going to give Tadebo a shadow. And then I think for me today, we're going to test out Tadebo in a couple of positions. But first of all, we're going to try him out as a center back. Um, we got to know how he feels on the ball at center back, defensively how he feels. Um, and really, that's it, guys. Center back reviews are not too entertaining. Um, but it's good to know how, how you know how, how this dude plays in game. I also got to check out and see really quickly to make sure that our 3-5-2 is properly set up which it is not properly set up. I've been playing with this 3-5-2, and I'm going to drop the tactics for you guys this week. Um, but I want to try him as a, as a central center back. I want to see how he plays there. And uh, other than that, guys, let's get into it. So we've got Dybala, Ronaldo, Carrasco, and Felix that we're facing off against in the first game. Should be a good test. That was a solid pass. He kind of, what's interesting is he doesn't have outside the foot shot trade, but he used the outside of the foot. Definitely offers a bit of dribbling responsiveness, man. He feels very responsive on the ball. And Kenny Lala has just missed that opportunity. Wow, I love FIFA. Very nice rotation over. So right away, his jockeying feels very solid, right? The way he's moving in circles is nice. It's not... It's not slow, which is good. You want that to be nice and fast. Go on, Tadibo. Go on, Tadibo. What a little run there, man. And he's still got the ball. We're going to body faint. And we're going to shoot with that weak foot. And he hits the post. Tadibo hits the post, man, on the four-star weak foot. Very nice coverage. You guys can see the height is definitely noticeable. And we got Ronaldo here. Wins the tackle, right? We're also looking for him. With his high and average body type, because he's not a stockier player in game, we're looking for him to consistently win these, win, win the tackles, man. Some of these kind of skinnier players in game, and they they seem to like not always win the ball. So we want to check out and make sure that he is getting possession of the ball. Tadibo's, Tadibo's feeling nice and responsive, and doesn't win the tackle, but stays with it and ends up being our ball. So it feels fast, right? Feels fast, which is good. Doesn't feel slow. Ronaldo's very fast, and another win there. 
Really love that. Good positioning. Um, unlucky bounce, but good positioning. And I'm, I'm liking that he's, he's locking up Ronaldo here. Cristiano Ronaldo. So Ronaldo made a run in behind there, and he beat Toribo, which is not a great sign. And this is why a lot of center backs this year just aren't worth it. Because even if they feel very good in game, the way that through balls are oriented this year just makes you have to use like 85, 90 pace center backs or just fullbacks at center back. And that's that's the main reason that you just saw right there. I like his dribbling, though. I think his dribbling is really solid. And again, right there, you can see that he's got good strength, man. We even got tackled and he was able to hold on there. Well, that's a very good sign. Real danger. A sloppy pass. Very nice tackle. Very nice tackle. Let's see how he can get back into position here. Obviously, he's down a little bit and a good tackle again. I think his tackling is very, very good. I'm, li I'm liking the way he feels and just building, even running out of the back, right? Like he's not feeling, he's not feeling anything like too much of a burden. He doesn't feel like a player that's too heavy. Nice defending, win the ball back. Oh, Tadibo almost with the finish. I do really like the way this card feels, man. I think he's really, really nice defensively. And I love how, how like just responsive he feels building out. And then we create a nice goal off the counterattack because of Tadibo's uh, ability right there, guys, to, to give us to give us a nice tackle win and break out. Oh, Tadibo. What a ball, Tadibo. Tadibo sets up the attack, boys. We'll put him in the attacking roll up 3-2 at camp. And Tadibo sets us up, guys, for greatness. Look at Tadibo in the cam roll, man. He's just controlling the game. Absolutely controlling the game. Makes it a brilliant run. And we get red, man. I tried the shot cancel, guys. Did not work. And another big team for us to give a, a little look at Tadibo, man. Let's go. Very nice. Very nice defensive tackle. Guy, guy's got a ping in him, man. Guy has a ping in him. That was a, a crazy, crazy path. Well, Puskas in behind. I feel like he kept up with him pretty nicely there. We're expecting a cut in because Puskas is, Puskas is on the left. Well, Tadibo did well there. It's weird because this opponent, it's tough to test the, the center back um, vibes with this opponent because my opponent doesn't want to attack. My opponent literally just holds the ball, passes back and forth with the CDMs. Then he goes back to the center back. And the worst part is he's down to nothing. So I, it's kind of a weird one. I haven't been able to get uh, too many attacking uh, plays with this guy because my opponent just. Oh, good response to this in the box there. We're returning Van Dyke back and forth. Oh, what a finish. What a goal, man. Padibo with an insane, incredible, incredible finish there in the box, man. That was sick. What a run in behind here. That's a pen. That's a pen. So we get the responsive dribble inside with Tadibo. And we send Van Dyke searching for searching for fresh air, man. Because Van Dyke was nowhere close to that one, man. And Tadibo absolutely uh, takes advantage there. And we are going to go for a cheeky little chip down the middle here, guys. Um... Yeah, well, that that didn't uh, that didn't go too well. But Tadibo's back on the ball here. We're gonna shot cancel, and it doesn't work out. All right, Tadibo, next time. Tadibo keeps defending, keeps the play alive. And Van Dyke shuts him down this time, but he's still putting in the extra defensive work. And this is what happens when you put a player in the attack with very high defensive work rates and good defending. He's gonna win the ball back, and Van Dyke is going to be having nightmares about Tadibo. Um, wow, Van Dyke, you are getting sauced this game, buddy. Great responsiveness, what a pass. And what a finish from Ribery, man. Tadibo sets up Ribery perfectly, and we go up 5-0 in this one, guys. What a play from the two French attackers. 
Oh, we used the shot cancel. We had the open for that shot. But Tirivo is not able to tuck that one away. All right, guys, we're heading into another one. We're playing Beast FC here, who's got Iago Aspas, Douglas Costa, Nabry. Nothing too crazy. He's actually using the gold Tony Cruz, which is interesting. And it's so weird because on my second account, my matchups are so much easier in foot champs compared to my main. I never will understand why, but they are just easier, and I don't know why. It's, it's the Trojans, and they take on Sporting. Yeah, Tadebo with the aggressive game interception game. there. Wow. In the and it's just coming to me now that I remember Lots that earlier in this year, guys, I was using Tadebo's gold card, and he was amazing in some of the objective teams. So just something to point out well, there, guys. The the well, very few players... Wow, he responds game. back into position just in time. I'm loving the defensive work rate on this card. I think he's got it. It's such a good... Such a good recovery speed, man. Even with that 80 pace, it must be the shadow chemistry style, guys, because his recovery speed is just absolutely incredible. Okay, we're going to put him in a defensive scenario here, and we actually intercepted it with Krizawa. But you guys can see here, even the dribbling out, like the responsiveness is insane. A fantastic piece of defending, was it? Well, it looked as though they might be in just for a second or two. So in the middle, you guys can see Iago Aspas is running with Peribo. And Terrible gets up nice and high there, the six foot three frame. You can really see it, and that's good, man. We wanna we wanna not get burned. We're not trying to get burned here. You know, this is obviously a fullback meta at the center backs. We need to make sure that this guy is fast enough uh, to play the position. Okay, guys, Terrible is put in a one v five here. This is gonna be really interesting to see what happens. And we actually almost get back and catch up to Douglas Costa, but Kaylor Navas makes an incredible save. So I was very impressed with that because we actually almost caught up in that scenario of a 1v5, so definitely pace is not seeming to be too much of a problem with this guy. And Ramos dominates us twice in a row on corner headers. And this guy was just towering over us the whole time. All right, guys, so overall, I actually really like this card. I think he's really, really good. I thought he was fast. I thought his body type being the high and average that he is allows him to really, really, really uh, transition well around the pitch. I really like that. I thought he felt a lot faster than he really was uh, due to this variable. For me, if you're interested in this card, I think he's very good. I mean, price point is always a, a, a thing you have to consider, but I think the nice part about this card is he's definitely more responsive than Varane. I noticed that, right? Like, the responsiveness on this card is really nice. I thought his tackling was really good. I thought his positioning was really good. The There's not really too many downsides with this card. I think the only downside is that, obviously, it's an untradeable card. So, you know, sinking your coins into something is something you, you have to consider. But this is a very good card. Um, seriously, I, I, I think this is a very good card. Usually, we get kind of generic center backs. But this guy's gold card was very good this year. I think he's a very overpowered center back. I think he's very, very solid in game. So, if you're on the border, I think you do it. I'm saying yes. I was really impressed with what I saw. Very versatile. I like them a lot. That's my review on them today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Peace.